part a we are solving this equation for h that means we need to get h by itself okay so we have a equals quantity a plus b times h over 2 so first we need to get rid of this fraction so a means a over 1 1 in 2 the LCD is 2 so we multiply both sides by 2 okay so 2 times left hand side 2 times right hand side so a plus b times h over 2 we have only one term in the right hand side okay so we get 2 times a 2a is equal to 2 means 2 over 1 and times so 2 to cancel a plus b quantity a plus b times h okay we need to distribute h but wait we need to solve for h get h by itself so do not distribute to get h by itself we need to divide both sides by this quantity so we divide both sides by quantity a plus b so that a plus b cancel and we have h isolated so h equals 2a over a plus b final okay let's go to part b 1 over w equals 1 over u plus 1 over v for u in any case we need to get rid of these fractions so w u v so the lcd will be the multiple just the product of w u v okay lcd is w u v now we multiply both sides by the lcd that is equi equivalent to multiplying each fraction by w u v so let's multiply so multiply by w u v w u v w u v times one so just w u v on the top then w w cancel from top and bottom u v so we have u v equals u cancel w v plus v v cancel w u okay we are trying to isolate u and if we look at closely here is u okay in the left hand side we have u here and u here so we need to put we need to put these two terms in one side and factor u out so for that we sub we move this over that means plus w we plus w u so we subtract w u from both sides okay let's subtract then we get u v minus w u in the left hand side is equal to w v now we can factor u out from these two terms factor u out because we are trying to get u by itself okay u out then v minus w equals w v finally to get u by itself we need to divide both sides by this quantity v minus w v minus w and cancel so we get u equals w v over v minus w we don't need parenthesis so this is the final answer do not try to simplify part c the relationship between celsius and fahrenheit units so 5 ninth times quantity f minus 32 equals c so we want to solve this equation for fahrenheit f okay so in any case we have 5 ninths a fraction we need to get rid of this fraction first for we c means c over 1 we need to multiply both sides by 9 okay let's multiply both sides by 9 so 9 times left hand side equals 9 times right hand side and we get so let me separate then we get 9 9 cancel 5 times quantity f minus 32 
equals 9 times C 9C. We were supposed to isolate EF, okay, which is inside there. Now we have two ways. We can distribute 5 or we can move 5 over either way. So it's time 5 times everything. So we can divide both sides by 5. Then we have 5, 5 cancel. EF minus 32 equals 9C over 5, which is same as 9 fifths C. Eventually, finally, we need to uh, add 32 both sides to get EF by itself. Okay, so let's add 32, and these are unlike terms. It 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 has C. It's just a pure number. In any case, EF equals the Fahrenheit EF equals 9 fifth C plus 32. This is the formula to convert Celsius into Fahrenheit. And part D, by the way, part A, this is the area of uh, a trapezoid. Okay. And this is the formula coming from physics optics. Here T equals A plus N minus 1D arithmetic series. In any case, we need to isolate D. So A plus N minus 1 times D. So A plus. So we need to move A plus. So there are two terms. A N minus 1 times D. So there are two terms. So let's move A to the left side. Subtract A from both sides. Okay. Subtract A from both sides. We get T minus A equals n minus 1 d now n minus 1 times d do not distribute because we are isolating d so is it times d so we need to divide by n minus 1 okay divide by n minus 1 we don't need parentheses so d equals whatever we have is the final answer so d equals t minus a over n minus 1 is the final answer.